Good morning, Gators. My name is Mary Catherine. And I'm Stephanie. It's Friday, May 16th, and, and you're watching KGTR. I did, and I'd love to tell you all about it. On Friday, May 9th, the PTSA hosted the Underclassmen Honors Assembly. This is a ceremony at the end of each year to honor the achievements of students throughout the year. Students were recognized for academic, athletic, and extracurricular achievements. Jade Hutchison was recognized for having the most amount of AR points. Renisha Clark had perfect attendance the entire year and all of the students of the nine weeks were recognized. During the ceremony, 14 students were selected from a drawing and received an iPad. Students qualified for the iPad based on an excellent score on EOC exams. After the ceremony, students enjoyed light refreshments while they visited with family members and friends. Even though I went to the honors assembly, I missed the band and choir concert. Well, I'm sure Shelby can tell you all about what happened. Captain Shreve's music department performed their spring concert Thursday, April 24th. It was a wildly entertaining show with the choir singing classical pieces, hits from The Lion King, and a melody of Adele songs from her album 21. Soloists Robert Mitchell, Taylor Robinson, Nathan Miller, Precious Joe, and Charissa Kenyar helped choir's performance be truly incredible. The concert band performed next, performing classical jazz, blues, and the famed song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. The concert band swung us right into the percussion ensemble's performance. The seniors in percussion performed a piece called Funky Buckets, which was a hit with the audience. What was your favorite part? Funky Buckets. <laughs> oh, the buckets. It was called Funky Buckets. We've been working on it for a while. And we never really got to show like anybody. So we thought it would be a good idea to play it tonight. The percussion wrapped up the show with great intensity. And the seniors were recognized for their dedication to Captain Shreve. It was an emotional night full of goodbyes and hugs. But as the curtain closes on the 2014 band and choir, we know the future is bright for the talent at Shreve. Looking for a way to worship God in a laid back environment with other Christians who love the Lord? Then come to Impact. Impact is designed for high school students to be able to make a lasting impact on their school campuses and in the lives of their friends. Impact has a live band that leads worship each week with some of the top songs in worship music. We meet every Wednesday night from 7.30 to 8.30 at Broadmoor Baptist Church, located at 41 Uri Drive. For more information, call 318-868-6552. We'd love to see you there. Hey Mary Catherine, I heard you're the new student council president. Are there any big projects you'd like to tell us about? Yes, there is one project in particular that I'd love to tell you all about. Hey Gators, so this past school year, our student council came up with a plan that's called the School Beautification Project. This project is designed to improve our school and bring beauty to Captain Tree. The Exec Board of 2013-2014 really wanted to see a school beautification project get done, but we are going to pass that to the 2014-2015 Student Council. And really, we have a beautiful school. I'm not at all saying that we don't. But there are some problem areas where paint is chipped in the stairwells, and we would love to see the cafeteria be new and bright and have murals with beautiful pictures and inspirational quotes on them and it would just enhance our school environment and make our school as beautiful on the outside as the kids are on the inside and that's really what we were going for and I, I really really hope that our school can see those changes made next year because it would be beautiful. Now that you know what the school beautification project is, let's see what some other Gators want to see happen. 
happen at our school. I want to see the restrooms improve, like all the writing and stuff on the restroom stalls, and then the painting is coming on. Um, I definitely can see like the improvement in like the hallways. It's not green anymore, so like I feel like we could clean those up a little bit. I cannot wait for summer. I'm so ready to go on vacation and go to camp. I don't know what you're talking about. I am going to be so bored. There is absolutely nothing to do here in Shreveport. That's not true. Cammie has a lot of stuff for us to do this summer. Hey Gators, as you know, it's summertime. And with only four days of school left, I'm sure you're all thinking about the exciting things you'll be doing this summer. But have you ever had one of those days where you just can't find anything to do here in Shreveport? Although it may not seem like it, there are many free and cheap things to do around here. For example, there are many great parks here in town. The Duck Pond is a great place for families. AC Steer is good for a quick game of soccer or football. Betty Virginia is nice for picnics. And the Bickham Dixon Park is good for fishing or disc golf. A little known fact is that Shreveport is known for its arts. Downtown, we have the Robinson Film Center, which gives student discounts. Art Space, which has free exhibits and a cafe for lunch, and Norton's Art Gallery, which has beautiful grounds and a children's area. There are several interactive places to go as well. The famous Cyport is downtown, which is right across the street from the Riverview Park Fountains. We have a few state parks around, like Lake Vistano, Caddo Lake, and Cypress Black Bayou, which are all great for swimming, boating, fishing, and camping. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit to do here in Shreveport. So Gators, have a great summer and stay safe. Hey Stephanie, did you hear how our sports teams ended their seasons? No, but I'm sure Reagan can tell us. Hey Gators, as our year ends, our sports do too. Our varsity baseball team lost to Southwood by one on April 24th, but then pulled out a win on the 25th with a score of 7-1. to one. On April 26th, we beat Southwood 15-1. Great job, boys. Our Lady Gator track team won third in the district meet April 24th with 92 points, and our boys won third in district with a total of 115 points. The 4x100 meter relay consisted of Latia Brown, Conticia Washington, Jennifer Pickens, and Shatari Payne. They won first in regionals with a time of 49.64. In the boys' 300 meter hurdles, Tyreek Anderson got second and Sean Stanford got third. Justin Brown got second in the boys' shot put and Donovan Banks won first in javelin with a throw of 177 feet. Our football team is getting ready for next year. Here's some footage from last week's scrimmage against Loyola. Recently, our tennis team had four players qualify for state by making it to quarterfinals and regionals. Xavier Blackman, Kaylee Hooper, Megan Bundrick, and Garrett Hooper traveled to West Monroe where they began the tournament with determination. Both Kaylee Hooper and Megan Bundrick made it to the second round, and Megan Bundrick was chosen to be a part of the All-State Academic Team. Xavier made the number one seed of the draw work hard to win his first round, and Garrett played his heart out in a close match. Though Xavier and Garrett rallied hard, they were unable to pull out a win. Be sure to tell these Gators, great job. Congratulations to all of our athletes this past year and the upcoming year. Now back to Stephanie and Mary Catherine. Well, that's all for today, Gators. Good luck on finals. And we'll see you next year. And, and thanks, thanks for watching KGTR.